It's the Great Southern Derby in Super Rugby, the Crusaders and the Highlanders. And tonight, a positive result is vital for both teams. Here's Taylor again, really injecting himself into this game. It's been knocked on. So, well, he said it was a knock on, but in actual fact, Talia heading for the line and over the line. Going to have to check it, I think, but it might have come off the head. Off the head. There's Hannah, the head. and it is off the head. It's gone directly off the face of the melon and into the Find arms of the Talia. And away he goes. Miller's conversion is good. Deep over the back, planned move, went to Grace. He got it off the Hotham. Powerful run here by Noah Hotham. They run him down finally, but he's taken it up to the five metre line. And also the Crusaders have a penalty. And this could be a yellow. No clear release. So that's on for Lau Fakatawa. No clear release. He's considered it to be a professional foul in a try scoring situation for the Crusaders. Full of beans early on. Now Hotham gets it away. Havili and Sebu Reese scores the Crusaders opening try of the game. For the conversion attempt, bringing it round beautifully. Nice kick. And now the Crusaders with Noah Hotham. Away for Hannah. Turns it back inside. Oh, no, beautiful. Here's McNichol now. Who, who's he got with him? He's got Hotham! Tries to offload. Oh, I think he knocked it on, did he? Off the foot. Off the foot. Off the foot try. So the try is scored by Dallas McLeod. Oh, and that was special. It really was. Premeditated move. Holland, Bakatava sees a gap and off he goes, oh. fires the pass away and Ken Miller gets the try. Boy, this is some game. It certainly is. And talk about make a statement and amends for being in the naughty chair. Falau Fakatava comes straight back on and a little piece of brilliance to finish off what was a well-constructed move. And he will do. Now Fakatava. No arms. No arms in the tackle, so a penalty. Uh oh, here we go. Number four first. Number four first. Yeah, no arms in the tackle. Then in the side. A number of infringements in the same phase down here under pressure. So well explained, because they haven't really been under first. massive pressure on their line conceding the penalties to the Crusaders. And off they go, it's half time here in Dunedin, what a first half it's been. And the local team, the Highlanders, ahead of the Crusaders by 26 to 14. Not going too far here, going to have to release it for Hotham. Away for Havili. And the ball comes loose, but it's OK. Now here's a real chance for Fihagi. Pops it over. Here's Sebu Reese again. He can't stop scoring. And he's done it again. I certainly has, but he has to compliment the work of Shea Fihagi to put him in the space. Advantage. And they've got a penalty advantage here. He's going backwards, but hanging on. Easy, easy. Yes, if you want it. Hits it well. So Jack Taylor finds his man in the line out. Got an advantage here, and it's a penalty advantage too. Looks good. It is good. Now Drummond. 
pops it out for Springer. A little bit of room on the right wing side, left wing side. Holding him up. He scored a try. You had to release. They had to release him, and they did. And he scored a try, Macca Springer. Wow, the Crusaders. How on earth have they survived this? That's probably a bit of a strange anomaly within the rule. With this conversion attempt. And he's nailed it too. Good kick from Chafee Haki. But the bigger picture is that the Highlanders have scored a famous victory. They've broken their duck. And uh, final score here in Dunedin, the Highlanders 32, the Crusaders 29.